Sioux Falls Fire Rescue does more than fight fires. The department's urban search and rescue team is dispatched to the scenes of emergency situations that require specialized skills and equipment for rescue operations. Those specialized skills come with training. In tonight's Eye on Couple Land, Travis Fossing takes you high above ground level for a day of training with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue. On the spring morning, CHS in Brandon is allowing Sioux Falls Fire Rescue to use one of its grain bins for training. Probably the most important thing we can do is what we call a scene size up. And so that just means really getting kind of a good 360 uh, view and uh, talking to personnel on scene and just trying to get a really good understanding of what the current situation is and what we're going to need to do to, to be able to affect that rescue. Sure. That ladder, like, Captain Mike Murphy is supervising this urban search and rescue team training. Everyone with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue is a, a certified firefighter and EMT, but uh, the individuals here today have gone a little bit above and beyond and are members of our urban search and rescue team team, which requires quite a bit of additional training and certification. The urban search and rescue team must complete six disciplines of training each year. Today's scenario fulfills the confined space requirement. A lot of different potential hazards just due to the height, the confined space, atmospheric, uh, machinery hazards. There's a lot of different things that could potentially cause some issues for us. Today's scenario, an employee falls 40 feet inside an empty grain bin and suffers a broken femur. The goal is to bring the injured person out of the top of the 125-foot grain bin and down the side to safety. It's a low-frequency but very high-risk operation. It all gets broken down. Everybody knows what their job is, and you focus on what's, what's your job. If you start doing other people's jobs or things that you're not supposed to be doing, you can see things will unravel quickly. Phil Paskowitz has been part of the rescue company for eight years and is a confined space instructor with the technical rescue team. Atop the grain bin, you'll find the rigging team, entry and attendant team, and hazard mitigation, whose job is to step back and survey the scene. From entry to patient packaging to getting on scene and making entry, how, how can we be more efficient and cut those times down? Every minute that we're on scene is just more time that they're not at the hospital getting the care that they need. The ability to think on your feet, uh, the ability to critically think through uh, problems as they arise, uh, and then to work towards a common goal as a team. Rob Flannery is a member of the rigging team and stresses the importance of this type of training. It's nice to be able to fall back on previous trainings and then uh, to continue to build uh, cohesiveness through trainings like this to know what the other guy's doing and kind of try and all be on the same page at the same time. The reach of this training extends beyond Sioux Falls Fire Rescue. Being in Sioux Falls and being surrounded by a lot of great volunteer departments, uh, this isn't something they get a lot of exposure to. And so for us to be able to practice this on a regular basis with our department and then be able to assist any of the volunteer agencies is really a critical part of our response plan. Many of these firefighters are part of an even more specialized team. Quite a few members of our Sioux Falls Fire Rescue Department are also members of South Dakota Task Force 1, which is an all-hazards response team that can respond anywhere within the state of South Dakota if requested. The training exercise ends with urban search and rescue lowering the mannequin to the ground. With farms stretching across Kelloland, Murphy offers this advice about grain bins. Really just monitoring those bins, knowing what the moisture content is, what the hazards are is really important. And then probably most importantly, if anything does go wrong, you know, just calling for help right away and getting the right resources there. And it all starts with practice. We want to be prepared for anything and, and if and when that day comes, when somebody reaches out for help, we want to be able to respond. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Travis Fossey. The grain bin rescue training took about an hour to complete. The urban search and rescue team does one week of training each spring and fall to maintain certification and responds to an average of 50 emergencies per year.